Hi everyone, Ryan Ragland with James Wagner here for 900 Global and we have the Honey Badger Extreme Solid today. Uh, this ball uh, along with the Pearl, the first two with a three piece cover with it or a three piece ball, uh, the whole Badger line had been a two piece. Three piece really equals up the numbers a little bit between the 14 and the 15. Uh, I really haven't tell, been able to tell that much of a difference since I've gone down to 14. In fact, I've had people tell me they think maybe 14 might hit a little bit harder than 15. I'm like, if they go down, I don't care. So that's just pretty much how I look at it. Um, I went with, on my layouts, I went with my standard uh, pin down with my uh, 55 by 4.5 by 75. This is my go-to pin down layout. Uh, has yet to fill me. And I've really started liking 3-inch pins, 3.5-inch pins. So that's pretty much what I went with here. Uh, and you can tell mine has a little bit of shine to it or not as not as much surface as James does. I've only thrown these a ball, uh, a game each in league. Uh, yours looks like fresh off the press. Uh, fresh off the press as of yesterday. There you go. <laughs> so you can't get nothing <laughs> by me. But you've you've actually the other one that you have uh, that you didn't have with you. You've actually been able to really tell the reaction of the ball off the pattern on that. Yeah. Um, I had one that I've, I actually literally have two balls on it, uh, threw it once in Tulsa in practice and went right back in the bag, um, threw it Thursday night at league, same thing, went right back in the bag. Um, it's, it reads really early and, um, it's not snappy. It makes a nice even turn, but still at that, it, it's, it needs oil. Um, in order to be able to throw it, <laughs> and neither one of the places I was at had oil. Well, and this is going to be interesting. Obviously, me with a lot less hand, more keeping everything in forward for me. You, a lot more revs, a lot more speed dominant. So you're going to get a nice look on what these will do. Uh, we're bowling on the Rhino, which is a 39 foot, 22 and a half unit pattern. So, uh, yeah, I think you may go first. You might be able to chew this one up pretty good with that fresh cover. Yeah. I'm just predicting. So we're going to hit the <laughs> lanes. We'll be back in a little bit and let you know what we think of the Honey Badger Extreme Solid here in a few minutes. Back with you here at Strike Zone of Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. I'm Ryan Ragland. That's James Wagner. This is the Honey Badger Extreme Solid, and 22 and a half units was not enough for this ball. No, uh, extreme <laughs> is to say the least. <laughs> uh, the SR74 cover uh, with the solid, very very strong. Uh, I'm I'm seeing this Reno just really screams out. <laughs> Reno really screams out for me. Uh, this ball is like the Pearl, very versatile. Uh, I threw the, the pin down to five inch, and you really like the reaction of that one yeah. when I got deep enough with it. The three inch, 
and I still like the three inch. It it still had a little bit of that push, but it still had that effectiveness on the back end. Uh, I would say if you know just based on what we threw with 22 and a half units, I'd say minimum 25, unless. Yeah. Unless you have a minimum of 25 or something, I I wouldn't even look at that. Yeah, you're, I, you're I not going to. This is not a vo low volume ball. Yeah, I, I would say if you're bowling on any of the sport patterns, um, shark jumps out at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about the only one I can think of. Or uh, you know, and and like with this one, I don't know what you Yeah, this is like with this one. This is my my three inch. Uh, this one is is still keeps it very forward. Yeah, and and you've got the same way with the three inch with your pearl, and you like the forwardness of it, and it's still. But even though it's a three inch from the from the PAP, there's not. It doesn't lose a whole lot on the back end. Right. That cover still takes a hold of it. Right. Yeah. The the drill that I was kind of thinking about on this one, I ran it past like four people, um, and they said don't do it. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up doing it. <laughs> um, he doesn't listen to anybody anyway. Is, is a is a ninety by two by forty. And that's going to put the pin for me right about here. Um, the mass bias is like right here. Uh, for me, it's, it's going to mo roll more like a uh, urethane. I've got that on my Truth Tour and absolutely love it. Um, it's something I'm going to be able to use on, on a uh, heavier oil pattern, but it, it's not going to read extremely, extremely early. So and, it's, and that's kind of the same layout I put on a Dream On where I had the mass bias to the left of the thumb, and I think I had a three inch or two and a half, something like that. And it really took the flare and really condensed it down and right. really allows you to stay forward with it and stay control with it, but you'll, but with these, you're still gonna have that push on the back end. Right. Uh, Honey Badger Extreme Solid, that's uh, <laughs> non low volume equipment right there. That's all I gotta say about that. Huge thanks to Mike Huffman here at Strike Zone at Fort Lever, Kansas for allowing us to come out, do the video, putting the condition out for us. Um, go see James over at W2, uh, or no, Mike at W2 Pro Shop here, Arsenal Pro Shop. <laughs> Camera's that way. <laughs> at Arsenal Pro Shop at a KC Bowl, you can see James, you can see Wes, you can see Russ. They'll help you out. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe, the like, and the share button. Uh, hit the alert bell so that anytime we come up with a new video, you'll get an alert as soon as we get it posted. So that is the Honey Badger Extreme Solid. That's James. I'm Ryan. We will see you next time for 900 Global.